you and as we wait to see what state leaders will decide on the future of abortion laws in Indiana, pregnancy resource centers in our state are being flooded with calls. There are a lot of families who are desperate to get help and Matthew Fultz spoke to one clinic ahead of today's conversation. Joining us now in studio, Matthew, uh, workers at that clinic have some very serious concerns going into today's session. Yeah, they have a lot of concerns and all of their eyes will be at the state house today and that concern comes from all options down in Bloomington. They help families with pregnancy options as well as parenting. But since I spoke with them last month, they tell me they've had a huge increase in calls, some as far away as Texas. Now the center tells me six months ago they would average about 30 calls a week and fund about 10 people for abortion help. Now within the last month, those numbers have almost tripled with about 80 to 90 calls a week with people needing help with funding and they're helping about 60 of those people weekly. The center also tells me the increase is because of fear and as more neighboring states put partial or full bans on abortion. But because abortion is so restricted in Texas, Oklahoma, and the other states around us, in Indiana, for at least the time being, is a more attractive option. They know they can get care here up to about 14 weeks. And, um, and then we're just hoping that that will continue as long as we can make it continue. Now, right now, it's still legal to get an abortion here in Indiana. However, these graphs from the New York Times, New York Times shows neighboring states like Kentucky have a ban on abortion after 15 weeks. In Ohio, it's after six weeks. And a total of eight states here in the U.S. have full bans on abortion. So lots of people will be watching and waiting to see what comes out of the state house over the next few days.